All right, got another comparison video for y'all today. Today we're looking at methanol injection nozzles. All right, for the first one here, we have a Be Cool nozzle I got off eBay. This one's 1,000 cc or 15.5 gallon per hour. Next one we have a 14 gallon per hour Devil's Own nozzle. It's rated about 880 cc. Next one we have a Cooling Mist CM10 nozzle. It's a 10 gallon per hour. They rated it 800 cc because it's running at higher pressure. In reality, it's a little lower. It's like 700 and something cc. And the last one here is a seven gallon per hour our Dell Zone nozzle, which is about 550 cc if I remember right. Let's get a look here at the different nozzle designs. As you can see, they all look a little different, and the hole size, obviously it's bigger as the nozzles get bigger. So this comparison isn't 100% back to back because they are different sizes, but it'll give you an idea of the different spray patterns they have. To have some footage, I took a while back of some AEM nozzles. I'm not sure how it turned out. I'm going to check it out. So if I put that in the video, that's why it's not here is because I took that a while back. All right, let's take a look at the setup I'm going to be using to test these. I've got a cooling mist, 200 50 psi pump that's connected up to my truck i have it connected up to my air compressor that way i can turn it on manually and then they've got the hose running down over to here which is where i'm going to set up the nozzles i took some slow-mo footage earlier of all the spray patterns i'm not sure how it turned out we'll see later for now i'm gonna go ahead and show you the full speed footage that way it'll give you a better idea of what's going on so let's go ahead and get it set up all right i got it all set up here so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going down from the largest nozzle to the smallest nozzle so the first one is the thousand cc be cool nozzle from ebay and yeah, let's see how that one works out. You'll notice right off that it has a much wider spray pattern than the other nozzles, which isn't a problem, it's just a different spray pattern. The actual mist itself feels pretty good. It's got, there are a few bigger droplets I can feel, but for the most part it feels pretty well atomized. As you can see, it does hang in the air pretty good after you stop spraying. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good nozzle for that big of a nozzle. I'd be interested to see what their smaller nozzles can do. All right, now we got a 14 gallon per hour Devil's Own nozzle. Let's see what it can do. You'll see right off the bat that it has a much narrower spray pattern than the Be Cool nozzle we just tried. And if I go in here and feel it, right off the bat it feels denser. A little more even maybe, but I think a lot of that is due to the narrower spray pattern. Overall, I'd say it's pretty even with the Be Cool nozzle. They pretty much are the same as far as atomization. This one may be a little finer, but it's also a smaller nozzle, so it's kind of hard to do a direct comparison. All right, now we got the CM10 nozzle from Cooling Mist, the 10 gallon per hour. Let's see how it does. Now, right off the bat, you can see that the spray angle is in between the Be Cool nozzle and the Devil's Own nozzle. It also seems to have a very fine atomization. Feeling it, it feels much finer than the past two. It also feels a bit more even. Just the camera angle, so you can see the uh, misting pattern better. As you can see, it doesn't spray as far as the last two, and I think that's because it's atomizing much better. So thus, it doesn't need to spray as far because the droplets are smaller, and I can feel that whenever I stick my hand in there. It definitely feels like a finer, smoother mist, I guess is the best way to describe it. Between the last two, this one's definitely the finest and probably the one I would use. The thing is, this is also much smaller than the last two nozzles, so it's hard to do a direct comparison. It'll be interesting to see what the Devil's Own 7 gallon per hour works out as. All right, and last nozzle for today is gonna be the Devil's Own 7 gallon per hour, unless I can get the AEM footage from a while back I took to turn out okay. So let's see how this one does. You'll notice it's a lot finer mist, but it's also significantly smaller than all the nozzles we've tried up till now. This is 7 gallon per hour. You'll notice that this nozzle has the same basic spray pattern as the 14 gallon per hour Devil's Own nozzle. The biggest difference is you can actually see the vortexes inside the nozzle spray a lot better on this nozzle. I'm not sure why, but it's got this really cool vortex that happens on the outside all around and the center jet that shoots on through and actually sprays a good long ways. I'm not real sure why it does that, but it's obviously a different design than the other nozzles. Not necessarily better or worse, it's just interesting to watch, at least. Now, as far as the actual spray feels, it feels definitely finer than the others. Obviously, it's a smaller nozzle, it should. But surprisingly, the Cooling Mist 10 gallon per hour nozzle was not that much worse than this. It was actually very similar. And I would be interested to see what the Cooling Mist 7 gallon per hour nozzle would do against this. I have a feeling it would be a lot finer than this one. Honestly, those are the best nozzles out of this set I've tested today. The best that I can tell. I would obviously have to get the exact same sizes from each one to tell an exact test. But the Cooling Mist definitely seems to have the leg up on the best atomization of all these nozzles. The only other major differences between the nozzles are the different angles of the spray pattern. The Devil Zone seems to be the narrowest, the Cooling Mist seems to be in the middle, and the Be Cool nozzle is definitely the widest. Now, whenever I had the AEM nozzles before, they were real close to the Be Cool nozzles and how wide the spray pattern was. All right, next up is the AEM 500cc nozzle. It gives off a much wider spray pattern. If I go in there and feel it, 
really fine out here, really fine. But in here, I can feel a lot of big droplets and it doesn't take near as long for it to come down as the Devil's Own nozzle. All right, so before we wrap this up, I'm gonna go ahead and give you all a quick overview of the nozzles here. And I have to say that overall, I'm very, very impressed with the Cooling Mist CM10 nozzle. As an overall nozzle, this one definitely comes out ahead. Now, I wasn't able to do a direct comparison due to having different sizes of all the nozzles, but from what I can tell, this one atomizes the best out of all of them. I also like the spray pattern, the overall design of the nozzle as well. The actual nozzle holder is just a section of different fittings put together. I kind of wish they had a one-piece fitting like the uh, Devil's Own nozzle, but that's something you can overlook. It's not that big of a deal. Next up would be the uh, Devil's Own nozzles. These are also pretty good nozzles, just marginally behind the cooling mist and atomization from what I can tell. They still give a perfectly acceptable spray pattern and are very good nozzles. They also give a wider selection than the CM nozzles, so it gives you more options. The Be Cool nozzle is a very good nozzle for its size. I wish I had a smaller one. It's not really fair to compare it to these as it is. Uh, it does seem to have a little bigger droplet size, a wider spray pattern, which I'm not sure if that's good or bad and the actual body itself is all right it's fittings like the uh, CM nozzle in the end though any of these nozzles will work perfectly fine for your application if I had a choice I would pick the CM nozzle and speaking of my choice I've made a few more choice modifications to my forerunner since my last video if you look closely you can probably spot a few of them I'm gonna be making some videos going over them and demonstrating them pretty quick so if you want to see them be sure to like favorite and subscribe to see more all right before I leave y'all with a whole bunch of slow-mo shots of the nozzles in action I want to ask y'all to be sure and leave a comment let me know how you like the video if it can be better what you want to see longer shorter whatever it can only improve with y'all's help so be sure and leave a comment below